over the years, I've made a few milk paint ornaments and um, I've done paper mache and a few other ones, but I decided to try some ceramic. So I bought these just plain ceramic ornaments. These are from Hobby Lobby and I ordered these online from a craft store. Um, I really like the toppers on um, the ones that are at Hobby Lobby. So hopefully you can still find them or tuck this idea away for next year. But I'm gonna pop the top off. And the colors that I'm using from the Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint line are Bergere, which it's looking a little, maybe just a little bit grayer than it usually does. It's usually a little bit bluer. That's just the batch that I have. And then this is boxwood green. And I wanna show you how, the reason why ceramic ornaments are really well suited for milk paint is because they're porous and the milk paint can really soak in, which is what milk paint does best. Just mix up your milk paint, one part water to one part, part milk paint. And I'm just using a, just a really cheap, this is maybe a three quarter inch craft brush. And you can always stick the ornament on a pencil just to help you kind of hold it steady while you're painting it. And I kind of like just putting it on really loose and letting the brush strokes show a bit. Again, just kind of letting it be really um, soft and organic. And again, I'm just doing this very quickly. This should just be a real simple, fun, easy kind of project. Okay, so once they're painted, we're gonna add a design. For the designs, I'm looking at some embroidery patterns, and I think these are from around the 1700s. So very traditional designs, and um, this will, just give me a reference point to work off of. Um, I really like classic and traditional designs, so this gives me some good ideas. If you're nervous about freehanding a design, then you can draw it out with a piece of chalk or a chalk pencil first, just to kind of give you something to work off of. And what's nice is, if you draw with the chalk and you mess up, you can always rub it off or you can wipe it off with a damp paper towel. So, see what design I'm gonna use. Um, I might try this one. I think I think that's kind of cool. Kind of the little, like a little sun pattern. When you're doing an ornament, unless you use tape, I would, especially with round ornaments, I would kind of stay away from straight lines. Those can just go very wonky very quickly. Kind of even just like this look with the white charcoal pencil. I bet I could just spray some fixative on this and just leave it as is. Okay, I'm happy with the number of little suns on it. So I'm gonna use um, some white acrylic paint just because it has a little bit more body than milk paint. Just a fine little brush and actually I'm going to water this paint down a bit. Okay and this is like I said this is just acrylic paint just kind of watered it down a little. And Choose a design that is not going to stress you out. <laughs> this should be fun, and if you pick something that's super intricate, I mean, unless that's your personality type, it's better to do something that's just really simple and beautiful in its simplicity so that something like this can be fun for you and not stressful. And I love getting inspiration this way. Instead of looking up inspiration for hand-painted ornaments, I'm looking up embroidery patterns. So it's taking something that's old, that's been done before, 
that I can work off of as inspiration and make it something new and totally different. So it's putting together old things in new ways. Now I need to do the little pluses. Now, I could just leave this ornament as is, I kind of like it, but since it's a Christmas ornament, I'm gonna add a little shine. I've got this, I bought it on accident. It's a um, pale gold uh, gouache. It's by Holbein, and it's actually a really beautiful um, gold paint. It has a really nice shine to it. Um, I don't usually use metallics <laughs> in my work, but I thought it might be nice for this. And it's a little iridescent, so it'll just add like a little bit of a shine without covering things up. I'm loosening up the, um, the gouache with a little bit of water just to keep it really transparent. There we go, isn't that one pretty?